Sung Ye, uh, 25 years old. Woo! Uh, doing comedy now for almost five months. So, Woo! Woo! Um, tell you a little bit of fun fact about myself. Um, so Rachel did say that you know sadness brings a lot of comedy, which is it's actually very true. Because this is a, a sad fact that happened to me this week. But you know, I, I got the courage to finally ask a woman out for coffee. You know, pretty amazing. I know, that's not sad. Right? Thank you. But here's the sad part. For the first time ever, she stood me up. I know, what a bitch. <laughs> but you know, the positive thing about this is it actually turns out you can't be stood up by a lady in a wheelchair. <laughs> Wow, that's a curveball. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> oh, I love that joke. <laughs> Way too much than I really should. That's the sad part about it. <laughs> so, um... I'll tell you with another curveball. I'm also a magician! Woo! I know. Pretty great, right? But this is also sad. Because when I was a kid, I asked my mom, where'd my dad went? And while she responded with, well, son, that's how you got into magic. Because you made him disappear. Then I realized, shit, I guess that is why I've been in magic my whole life. Because I've spent the last 25 years trying to make him reappear. <laughs> wow, that's a dark one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you know, um, as we all now know, uh, weed is going to be legal soon. So let's give it up for that. Woo! Yeah. And um, now, I'm not high for this set, but I've been high many times. And you know, a lot of people say that stoners are lazy and forgetful. You know, I've always disagreed. Because for one, I've never forgot to go pick up. And two, I've also never forgot to smoke. <laughs> you know, it's not, you're not going to find a weed smoker who's forgot to smoke. Never going to happen. But, um, like, where do drugs take us nowadays, though, since weed's gonna be legal? Like, where do we take us? I'll tell you where they take us. Like, for example, you're on a subway, and you see a lady, and there's three pictures on the subway sign, and now uh, the picture will always depict the lady getting worse. But I don't think it's true. I think the only thing that's getting worse about the lady is the fact that her hair is getting worse. That's it. So, for me, it's kind of like, well, where do drugs take us? Well, they, they take us to your first choice hair cutters. Why? Because that's a cheaper cut, and it allows us to buy more drugs. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll do a couple more, because I'm flying through this pretty damn fast. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so, what else can I talk about that's pretty dark? Well... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Well, I'll talk about this, because as you all can definitely tell, I have a lot of fucking dark comedy. Which is very questionable on why I'm up on stage. But, you know, uh, I have a lot of great friends that have to help me out through the dark comedy. Like, for example, uh, my aunt. You might have heard of her. Aunt Jemima! Because she's making everything sweeter. Or how about my great friend Kraft? Oh, what can I say about this guy? He's an original guy, but right now he's single. I tried to hook him up with my best friend, Betty Crocker, so we could take her out for dinner. But it turns out she moved to Hamburg, and that's no help. But you know, recently for myself, I've had to go see the doctor. You might have heard of him too. Dr. Oker. He's the best. It used to be a monthly thing, but then I changed it to a daily thing to try and cure my sadness. But you know, it's always great to have your two best friends by your side. You might have heard of them too. Ben and Jerry, because they gave me 31 reasons to keep living. Wow, amazing. And since I'm still living, we're going to bring up your host, Rachel, because my name is Jerry from Sunday, and have a great night. Woo! You give it up for Joseph! Wait, he had a pussy stop, and no one else got a knife. He was a top man.